Hey everyone, welcome to Northern Viking Explorer. My name is Ken. I'm Andrea. And we are doing a three-day vlog series of Whistler in Vancouver. And we're on our way to Whistler right now. We're gonna be heading to the Britannia Mine shortly, and then heading out to Whistler and Squamish on the way. This is gonna be an amazing journey. So join us over the next three days for this trip. Day one, we are on our way to Whistler, British Columbia, Canada, and we're heading over the Portman Bridge right now, which goes over the Fraser River in the outskirts of Vancouver. Oh, there's Ikea. We will have to stop there on our way back and get us some stuff. And fill up our trunk with all those Swedish trinkets. All right, so we'll be back here in Vancouver tomorrow night, but right now we're headed over to the North Shore. If you haven't been, up to Whistler before you drive on the Sea to Sky Highway. You've got mountains on one side and the Howe Sound on the other side. It's absolutely phenomenal. It's gorgeous. You're gonna wanna leave some time so you can stop and check out some of these places. Yeah, right now we're gonna do our first stop at Porto Cove because we're a little bit early for the Britannia Mine Museum. So we're gonna stop in here and check this out. This is Porto Cove on the Howe Sound. This is a great place to stop and have a picnic, walk around a bit. Yeah, it's gorgeous. There's actually a lot of scuba divers here as well. And if you're lucky like us, you might get to see... A bald eagle. It was so majestic. There's also a lot of boaters here and a boat launch. If, you're, if you have a boat, come check it out. A great place for fishing. Now I believe this is an old ferry terminal and totally cool. They've got some really interesting platforms here you can stand on. You might even be able to see starfish or different marine life right off of here. And it's well known for scuba diving as well. And off in the background here, there's also the campground. Porto Cove, it's a must stop if you're driving through to Whistler. It is absolutely gorgeous here. This is a great place to stop and take some photos and to check out the views from the platforms. Also over on the right hand side here, you'll be able to see better where the ferries used to dock. It's gorgeous here. It is amazing. This is absolutely stunning. Next stop is the Britannia Mine Museum along the Sea to Sky Highway. We're almost in Squamish. We're here a few minutes early before they even open, but our tour is at 10. So we have about an hour to check out the exhibits before our mine tour starts. We are here, we made it to Britannia Mines. You can see the mill there in the background. We'll check that out in a moment. There's tons of artifacts from the copper mine in here that are also very interesting. Inside the Beatty London Visitor Center, you can check out the interactive exhibits. There's also a giant haul truck that's over 20 feet tall and 800,000 pounds. This thing is huge. Check out how tall I am compared to the tires. Andrea, I see gold panning. Should we go see if we can find some gold? Let's go find us some gold. We're gonna be rich. Will it be gold or will it be fool's gold? Let's find out. Let's head over to the gold panning pavilion. Grab a gold pan and start swirling. This is included with your admission into the Britannia Mine Museum. I think I might have a nugget. Gold panning's not just for the kids. Is that gold? My bounty. We gotta go trade this in and make some money. I found an amazing seat with a view of the ocean and the mountains. I guess this is where you went when you were in the mine. When you gotta go on the go. It's time to head up for our mine tour. There's some cool exhibits up here as well. The views up here of the Howe Sound are amazing. It's gorgeous. And you can see the mine from up here as well. You can also jump in one of these rail cars to see how the miners got into the copper mine. Not a lot of space in here if it's full of people. This is where we're gonna jump on our mine tour. They've got these little trains that we hop on and head straight into the mountain. Where they're gonna give us a tour and a demonstration. Time to mine some copper. Now 
it does get darker as we head into the mine, but they do have lights the whole way, so you're not going to be left in the dark. And it does get colder, so if it's a hot day, maybe bring a sweater in. Yeah, and you get to see different exhibits like explosives, there's water running down the walls. And once the train stops, we do walk down these tunnels where they're going to give us the demonstrations of how they use the equipment. is a great blend of entertainment and education. They're gonna blow the horn to signal we're out safe. Three, two, one. Next up is the special effects show, The Boom Inside the Mill. This was very entertaining. Something similar to what you might see at Universal Studios. And the mill is just gorgeous inside. We had a great time here at Britannia Mine Museum. It's one of Vancouver's top things to do. Next off, we are heading over to Shannon Falls and the Sea to Sky Gondola. We're not gonna go up the gondola today, but we are gonna go check out Shannon Falls. Here is a quick glimpse of the Sea to Sky Gondola. So here at the Sea to Sky Gondola, it's free parking. And if you don't wanna pay to go up the gondola, you can walk to Shannon Falls. It's only about a 10 minute walk, which is what we're gonna do now. It's a beautiful nature walk. And if you don't wanna park at the Sea to Sky Gondola, Shannon Falls has its own parking lot just down the road from the Sea to Sky Gondola. We made it to Shannon Falls. Just past Shannon Falls, you'll find the Chief. The Chief is world famous for rock climbing. And if you look close enough, you just might see a climber. Now we're headed back into the mountains towards Whistler. Our next stop is Whistler Olympic Park. This is from the 2010 Vancouver Whistler Olympic Games. You do have to pay to park here. It's $10 for the day, but it's well worth it. And you'll get to climb the ski jumps and check out the biathlon area. All right, so these are the ski jumps from the 2010 Vancouver Olympic Games. They're here in Whistler, way up there. We're gonna go for a little hike and see what they look like. So this is called the Ski Jump Scramble and you climb these metal stairs and this is the landing area of the ski jump and it is a long way up there. Let me tell you, some amazing views but just endless amounts of metal stairs. By the time you get to the top of the landing area, you've done 449 stairs. All right, so I see that it's closed to hike up all the way to the top right there, all the way up there. But I do see a trail that says ski jump trail to the top. So let's try that out. Now here at the Ski Jump every year, they host the Red Bull 400, where participants run straight up the hill. It's absolutely crazy. I'm taking the goat trail up here when it's definitely muddy. I even had to use ropes at one part here to get to the top. And I was kind of frightened that I might run into a bear or two, but we were lucky we didn't run into any bears. All right, I made it to the ski jump tower. Still more stairs when you think you're done and you finally get to the top where you get to enjoy these majestic views. It is crazy how high it is up here. These ski jumpers, I, I can't believe how they do this. It is so high. And you can see our car way down there at the bottom. All right, so that's the lower jump there. We're way up here. All right, I'm exhausted. That took probably about half an hour without stopping to get all the way up here. And it was a really good hike. I got my workout for the day and I still have to head back down there and I don't get to go down in 10 seconds like the crazy ski jumpers do. I have to walk down, so. While you're up here, check out the warming area. They've got some ski jumping skis. There's great views and they have footage from the Olympic games on the TV. Now for the easy part, I get to go back down. It's a long way down. 
All right, so I'm almost down from the ski jump and that was a bit of a hike, but I'm walking kind of in this wilderness trail. I'm worried about running into a bear because I did see lots of signs warning for bears and I'm all by myself because Andrea stayed for a snooze in the car while I hiked the ski jump. So we're almost down. We didn't get eaten by bears, but that was a really fun hike. Here's the trail we're using to come down. You don't get to come down on the stairs. So this is the, it said the extreme walk down. So a little bit steeper, there is a flatter trail to get down from up here as well. Now that I'm well rested, let's check out how long it is until the next Olympics. All right, Andrea, you're the same height as a female black bear. <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't run into that bear on the way down because they're absolutely massive. I would have been bear soup. There are some great photo stop opportunities with the Olympic rings or the Anakchuk with the ski jump behind. Now let's head off to Whistler Village. As we arrive in Whistler Village, there's another Anakchuk over here on the right hand side. So another great opportunity if you want to grab some photos. That's Blackcomb Mountain there in the background for you skiers out there. But we have to go find our hotel. We are staying at the Summit Lodge here in Whistler, right in the village. Gorgeous hotel, beautiful place to visit. So let's get ourselves checked in. We got room 319, and as you can see, it has a nice little kitchenette, a full-size couch, and a queen-size bed, which is perfect for our stay. It's also got a little fireplace, so if you're here during ski season, that would be really nice. If we step out on the balcony, the Whistler Walk is right behind those buildings there. There's a Tim Hortons and a Starbucks right there. And of course, if you're a skier, there is Blackcomb Ski Area right there. I think it's time to go for a swim and cool down from that hike. And I think I'm gonna heat up and sit in the hot tub. Right behind the hotel is the Florence Peterson Park. If you wanna relax, they've got these loungers right next to this beautiful creek. Super tranquil out here. We had a great afternoon. We went to the pool and the hot tub. The hot tub was nice and warm. Now it's time for some dinner. We are gonna head to one of our favorite restaurants, the Old Spaghetti Factory. We just gotta head down these stairs to find the restaurant. And they've got a scale here so you can weigh yourself on the way in and the way out. Perfect. The bread is really hot. It's like fresh, fresh, it's so hot. <laughs> so good. I always get the same thing. It's the clam sauce with the zithra cheese. It is so good. And then I go ahead and I add more parmesan on top. <laughs> I just can't get enough cheese. More bread. With garlic butter. It's been a fun, busy day driving to Whistler. Join us tomorrow as we explore more of Whistler Village and as we head to Vancouver to stay at the Pan Pacific. Yeah, we're really excited. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. Hit that bell notification as well. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.